Hello YouTube and welcome back to the FIFA 17 Sunderland career mode. This is episode 24, I know in the last episode I forgot to mention the episode number. But anyway, in the last episode I was very quiet because there was other people in the house then. But this episode I'm on my own so I am able to record it as I usually would. But anyway, you can see we start, we're start. we starting this episode off with a bit of training. And as you saw at the end of the last episode, we offered um, Jordan Pickford a contract. And as you can see, he is coming back saying about that new contract, saying he is not wanting to sign a new contract. Which is annoying, <laughs> because he was the one who came to us saying he was getting transferred out if we didn't offer him a new contract. So now we've got to get rid of him or hope he eventually signs one. But anyway... We're getting into the first game of this episode, a two-game episode where we'll play Swansea and Manchester United. As you can see, we got a shot there. That was well saved. It came to Sergi Gomez on the edge of the box. He had a shot. That was pretty poor. It was an open goal. All he really had to do was hit the target, and it would have been good. But would have been better if he hit it on his right foot. But anyway, they take the short kick from the goal kick, and they're going to try and get forward here. Grimes picks it up there, gives it to Montero. He gets tackled by Farrell, but ends up getting the ball back. Gives it, plays a 1-2 with Marvin Emnes, gets past Jilabaji, um, gets the ball down the side, whips it in, it comes off Jack Cork, it's run out wide, Emnes picks the ball up here, runs inside from the right hand side, gives it out to Nathan Dyer who puts it into the bottom left hand corner, pretty poor defending for us there, and right on the edge of halftime, we have gone down 1-0 which is pretty poor. Poor defending there to allow them to get the ball straight back. I probably should have followed Emnes to the ball, but anyway, from kickoff we try and get forward. Craig Farrell is tackled, but it's given out by Ndong to Donald Love. Love whips it in, a great ball, and Vissam Ben Yedder really needs to do better there. I should have taken a touch because there is a lot of times I've had chances like that, and it seems all the time when you get a chance like that, the player always hits it down into the floor and ends up putting the ball over. But anyway, you can see as they're talking about Crystal Palace missing a penalty, Swansea misplays a pass pretty poorly. We pick up the ball here from a um, throw in. Wissam Ben Yedder gets it as we're trying to get an equalizer. Danny Barrera, our Sky Future star, gives it out to Wabi Khazri. Khazri come um, cuts onto his right foot, gives it to Declan John, who takes one touch, gets past his man, and is fouled by Nathan Dyer, the goal scorer for Swansea. Very poor tackle, it was a clear penalty. Um, that's a run I like making, just the overlapping left back, or underlapping, would you call it, with him coming inside. But anyway, Barini with the penalty, great penalty, so lucky that it went in, to be honest, because their keeper went the right way. I think he's Australian, I'm not sure how to pronounce his name, so I'm not going to make an effort too sorry. But yeah, he shouldn't really save that, he gets a strong hand to it does not push it away he lets it go behind him but anyway not long after that goal happens they're trying to get um, the ball away again but we win it back and um, it's given to Ferreira no Farrell sorry Ben Yedder loses the ball but he's trying to win it back Craig Farrell once again trying to get the ball and he ends up putting enough pressure on for us to win the throw in so the throw in is taken by Love to um, Barini he gives it out to Barrera it's given I mean no to Farrell, he gives it to Barrera, who gives it to Declan John. Craig Farrell picks it up here, gives that out to Fabio Barini. He eventually passes it in to Farrell, who backheels it to Jan Mvia, who takes a couple touches and then smashes it into the top left-hand corner of the goal. Great finish by Jan Mvia to make it 2-1 to Sunderland, turning things around with 25 minutes to go. Good backheel by Farrell, but a great finish. Sorry if you think I am focusing a bit on Craig Farrell, but I am a, someone who likes using the Youth Academy a lot. But anyway, you can see the um, game is coming to an end here. They've got in the corner in the um, last minute, and they've sent pretty much everyone forward. So what I've done is sent Walter Mathis to the halfway line, and luckily Fabio Varini is able to head the ball to him. Because it's in his own half, we are onside with Mathis with just under 10 minutes to go, and he slots it past the goalkeeper into the bottom left-hand corner. Maybe his first goal of the season, Walter Mathis, great player he is turning out to be, hopefully. I think he's about 66 overall now when this episode was made, so great finish there. But anyway, um, we're winning this game. As you can see, the game's going to end like this, as this is just going to be the f um, closing minutes. But I want to talk um, about Jan Mvia. He scored a great goal in this game, and he's played pretty well, but I want to know whether we should keep him or not. 
Um, in real life, he was meant to join on a pre-contract, but that has gone out of the window because he apparently does not want to join the club anymore. If that is true, I'm not sure whether I should be keeping around a player who does not want to be at the club. Um, so I would like... I'll probably just leave a poll in under the eye. <laughs> And hopefully you will vote to say whether you want us to sell Jan Via in the January transfer window or to keep him in the club because of him not wanting to be there. But anyway, you can see we definitely deserved the win. We had a lot more shots. They scored their only one on target. And as you can see, them are the results from around the grounds. But anyway, we're into the second and final game of this episode, which is away to Manchester United. Um, as you can see, they kick it off here and are trying to get forward straight from kickoff. So you can see um, one Mata picks it off here, gives it to Tim Fosu Mensa. Mata gets the ball back though. Um, Catamol tackles him but does not keep the ball. Fosu Mensa then is able to run with the ball for a little bit. Give it out eventually. No, in. I don't know what's happening. He gives it into Mata anyway. Um, he is able to pass it to James Wilson. Obviously playing a younger side because they're against <laughs> I'm guessing. And Adnan Yanazai has a chance against us. He, we had him on loan for a season. He wasn't that good. And a good save from Vito Minone to keep it at nil-nil. But anyway, you can see they had the ball here. And Sergi Gomez makes a great tackle there to win us the ball back. Catamo gets the ball here in the attacking third. And Barini gives it back to Catamo. He finds Walter Mathis, who plays it back to Barini. Barini um, has a really good strike, but hits the post. Really unlucky for um, Fabio Barini to not have put us in the lead there. But anyway, not long after that, Manchester United at the side coming forward. Um, we pick up the ball. Jan Villa plays it out to um, Kapustka. Um, it comes to Andre Gray. He um, is trying to get us forward. Gives it to Fabio Barini down the right-hand side. Barini gives it to Gray. As we're trying to take the lead, it's a poor pass by Gray, and Schneiderlin picks it up, and they can now go on a counter-attack. There is Giannis I playing a one-two with Fosu Mensa. He gives it to James Wilson. James Wilson is able to give it in to Tim Fosu Mensa, who finishes it really well into the bottom right-hand corner. So once again, we go 1-0 down right on the halftime mark. And that is something I'm noticing about um, the game with these new sliders I'm using, that it is getting more difficult towards the halftime. I'm not sure why that is. But anyway, you can see not much happened in the second half. And with 10 minutes to go, we pick up the um, ball here. Um, ben Yedder is able to um, have the ball, but he is tackled really well. Pogba gives it to Mata. Um, he gives it back to Pogba, who plays it out wide to Anthony Martial. Um, Martial plays um, really well down the line, gives it to Pogba, and he has a shot into the back of the net. And for some reason, the game gives that as a Vito Minone own goal, even though Pogba is celebrating like it is his, because it is his. He hits the target, and I'm not even sure it hit Minone there. It may have hit his fingertip slightly, but anyway, 90th minute, we get a free kick here. Um, ben Yedder and Cosby standing over it. Ben Yedder whip, chips it up to Lenz, but his shot is very poor. Lenz is another player who I think I'm going to look to sell because I think we're going to sell him in real life. So it's not a play. He's not a player I want to be keeping around. He never really tries in real life, from what I've seen anyway. So, well, for Sunderland, he didn't really try. But anyway, that's how that game finished. And as you can see here, Pickford is saying that he wants to um, still be getting played even though he wants to leave. But I'm not sure. Until I'm sure he's going to stay, I want to give Minone a chance. But anyway, as you can see, we're advancing into a new month now, which means look, uh, look at the scouting report. Um, as you can see, some really good players in this youth academy now. Um, Dani Vasquez looking really good. We're going to release Chao Gomez and offer Gabriel savior a contract and as you could see Cohen Wood the American striker with 93 to 94 potential is also turned 16 so we are going to offer him a contract now as he looks like he is going to be a really good player the only thing I am a bit skeptical about <laughs> I, that was an awful sentence the only thing I am a bit skeptical about <laughs> is that um, he is only five foot eight but hopefully he'll do a job Ben Yedder is quite short and he has scored a few goals for us but anyway we signed a couple players here from the um, youth scout and as you can see we're going to finish this episode with a squad report so anyway i'm gonna leave you here if you enjoyed this video please do leave a like if you 
um, want to see any more of this Korean world or any of online seasons, please um, do subscribe as that is much appreciated. But anyway, um, once again, just thank you very much for watching. Um, hopefully from now on we'll defend better at halftime, but anyway, I'll see you later.